Welcome. Let's talk about the second signature program, the Tech Challenge. Today, Bridge is here with us. She heads the program and she'll tell us some more. This year's challenge is Shake, Rattle and Rescue and the big event day is on April 21st. And we're um, really excited. The kids are already uh, designing solutions to rescue a stranded earthquake survivor that's trapped on a bridge that's been devastated in the quake. So this is the Golden Gate Bridge, and we know this happens <laughs> in the Bay Area, so this is a great challenge. Yes, and we want to engage our kids to help solve this, whether this could happen across the world or right here at home. Uh, what we did is we looked, we looked um, back on every single tech challenge. So all 24, every single one is another kind of iteration in our learning and innovation sure. in our design process. And we pulled out all of our favorite elements to combine them in this 25th anniversary. So we're going to set the stage for a really dramatic scene on event day, post-earthquake oh, disaster okay. search scene. And uh, we've also designed the rig to allow for many different solutions. So the kids can utilize the, the cables here to climb, or they can go along the waterways. Okay. And it also has a lot of height which allows for many spectacular test runs. So both spectacular successes and spectacular failures. So this is, I mean, this is, there's a lot involved here. So how do the team teams get judged? Well, uh, they come in and they, uh, they get judged by our Silicon Valley engineers from our sponsor company. So they get to engage directly um, with the engineers and present their design process and their final design. And then they go against the rig. So they're judged equally on three different components, device performance, okay. um, also their engineering design process. They submit a design journal. And the judges are going to look for signs of collaboration, problem solving, how they creatively overcame the challenges. How do you inspire these kids to innovate? Well, uh, these kids are so innovative already, um, whether the, both of their parents are engineers and they grew up tinkering in a garage. Many are. We also have many kids who are picking up a tool for the very first time. Okay. And really all they need is to uh, be given the space to innovate. So we provide the challenge, we provide some support in the engineering design process, so taking them through the, the brainstorming, the designing, the prototyping, the learning from failure, all of that. Once they have the that... life cycle, basically. Exactly. And they just innovate on their own from there. What is the challenge? This year is Clean the Seas. I want to give a big round of applause to the Tech Museum because they have been committed to this competition for 24 years. Teams have to collect two of these lovely two-liter bottles and three of our bottle caps without harming any of our lovely, lovely fish. Clean the Sea! <laughs> And the teams have to do that within three minutes. Don't rush it. Take your time. A couple of records I wanted to go over for this year. Most number of students we've ever had. Almost 1,200 kids today participating. Friendly competition. So as you'll see over the course of the day, we have lots of different solutions, lots of different teams. Marvin here, our helmet. It supports our device by, with a string. You can flip it around. Um, all of it can like fold in half, so it's a compact design. It's very lightweight. We need to try to avoid the fish. We think that we have a good solution, so we're just crossing our fingers and hoping it works. For the first time, we have almost half of those teams as girl teams. 45% came from girls, so shout out. We just got to like go at it with whatever we had. What is your team name? Zombie Hawks. Rainbow Marshmallows. We can accomplish often a lot more working together as a team than we can as individuals separately. And we need to really put a team effort in. We're just working together. Okay, we picked up one ball and no caps in, uh, so that's too bad. Uh, we haven't calibrated it. If you don't get it perfectly aligned, it's... Ah! Any advice that you could give to future teams as far as winning it all? Uh, fail, and then improve on that. Because if you don't fail, you can't win. It's true, particularly in Silicon Valley, fail. Failure is really okay, and we can learn from our failures. Try and fail over and over and over because it means you are taking risks. We had a lot of different designs that kept failing. We knew nothing about the programming, and we had a robot on top of everything. So I think, you know, we just had a lot of teamwork. We had a lot of just being able to take a breath and jump back in and say, okay, let's figure out what's wrong. We believe in competitions like this because they sponsor the next generation of innovators. You guys are amazing. You have huge ideas. 